Welcome to the Sea of Thieves Canon Guide. I'll first outline some general tips and then delve into a few more specific advanced concepts including deck shots. The video is timestamped, so feel free to jump around the video as much as you like. To begin, let's address the fundamentals. When aiming your cannon, I employ a two-step method. I first utilize the WASD keys for course adjustments, positioning the cannon approximately. Then I employ my mouse to fine-tune my aim with precision. For controller users, this tip is irrelevant as you just need to point the stick so the cannon go where you want it. Post-firing, it's crucial to evaluate the reasons for a miss and adjust accordingly. In situations where visibility is limited, estimations become essential. However, if you have a crewmate helming the ship, the elevated perspective can provide invaluable feedback through concise communication such as more lead, less lead, too high or too low. Now let's delve into the intricacies of chain shots. To accurately target the enemy vessel's cannon line, what we call the middle slash where the cannons come from, employ standard cannonballs. Once aligned, aim slightly upwards for a low chain shot. It's crucial to recognize that chain shots possess greater weight than cannonballs, and hence more travel time is required for the same distance as we fire higher. This requires you to adjust diagonally the higher on the mast you intend to hit. For the more advanced mariners among us, we transition into the realm of advanced techniques, taking into account the elusive deck shot. This maneuver involves repelling a player onto another vessel's deck, a task that requires both precision and understanding of projectile motion. First, we must grasp the dynamics of how cannonballs, our projectiles of choice, behave. These projectiles are influenced by the linear velocity of your ship, alongside the vertical motion caused by the boat's rocking. This means that if I'm traveling in a straight line, when I fire a cannonball, it will continue to follow my ship due to its inherited linear velocity. Furthermore, if the ship was rocking up or down during the firing of the cannonball, the cannonball will inherit the downward or upward velocity of the cannon at the moment of fire. It doesn't matter how high or low the end of the cannon is, as much as it matters the direction the cannon is traveling. It's essential to discern the varying characteristics of cannon ammunition. Throwables, akin to cannonballs, follow the same trajectory. However, players, due to their slightly greater weight, exhibit distinct behavior and require you to aim slightly higher for the same result. While chain shots, being the heaviest, necessitate a further increase in cannon elevation. Now onto the complex calculations required for deck shots. In this scenario, we aim for an arc trajectory. Why? Because the targeted player must descend onto the deck, rather than impacting the ship's side. This concept aligns with the principles of quadratic projectile motion, which offers two distinct angles, two solutions, to reach the same point. However, we must choose the higher of the two angles to achieve the desired result. In close quarters engagements, the arc may not be requisite. Instead, one can await the downward rocking motion of the target ship and subsequently aim to propel the player directly onto the deck, a riskier but potentially rewarding maneuver. For those who prefer a more reliable approach, bypassing deck shots in favor of placing a player in front of the target ship is a valid strategy. By aiming ahead of the vessel's trajectory and slightly higher than a cannonball shot, one can position a player in a prime boarding position via the ship's ladder. Thanks for watching, hope you learned something, and even if you didn't, remember practice is paramount. So set sail and hone your skills. Until next time, fair winds and calculated cannon fire.